Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So guess what arrived in my mailbox today? I know, from the title you can probably tell it is my second BB box. I am so excited that it arrived. I have been waiting for this box for so long it seems. Several weeks seems like an eternity when you're waiting for uh, these beauty boxes. I decided to order this one because Mimi Box did a collaboration with a brand called Vanilla Co. For those of you who are not familiar with Korean cosmetics, Vanilla Co. is one of Korea's uh, more of the popular brand. And I've tried a couple things from this brand, like their famous primer and their highlighters, and they are incredible products. So as soon as I saw that on the Mimi Box website, I'm like, yes, please, I am ordering this right away. You guys know the drill. I am going to open this box up and show you what I got. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so very first product I pulled out is a Phil So Good Pore Essence. I can sort of guess what this is and I'm really excited about this one because it sounds a lot like the Benefit Professional if you ask me. I've never tried a professional, I've heard great things about it and I always wanted to try it so uh, one day I will get that but for now I'm really excited about this one and I really want to try this out because it claims to give your complexion a moisture boost while tightening up your pores and smoothing out your skin's texture. Heck yeah, that sounds good. Um, I do get some bigger looking pores uh, peeking its head out and it's kind of nice to have a product like in this one to fill those big pore heads. When I squeeze this out, it has that silicone feeling like the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It feels really fresh, like fresh, what? It feels really refreshing. I'm gonna try this out and see if it can really fill in my pores. Next product I pulled out is this called It Shiny Shimmer Highlighter. I am in love with highlighters. I try every kind of highlighter out there. Well, not every, but <laughs> If I had the money, I would buy every single highlighter out there because I just love it that much. I am a highlighter freak and this is cool. It looks like it's a, like, have you seen those highlighters where you actually open it and you click the top? It's like a clickable top and then product comes out of this. So once I click it, the product comes out and you just like sweep it over the areas that you want to highlight. So on the top of my cheekbones and when I swatch it, it is a skin tone color. So it is a nude color and it just goes on super smooth. Ooh, just blends right into my skin. I really like that it came in a skin color because there are a lot of highlighters out there that are too silver or too pink and those can look kind of fake like uh yeah you have highlighter on but something like this will give you that really natural you're glowing from within look and i really like that especially during the summertime when you want to look all glowy and like dewy no glitter whatsoever it just gives you a nice sheen on your skin Okay, the next product I pulled out is something called Acid Color. Ooh, it comes in this like burnt orange packaging. It's called Acid Color Auto Stick Shadow. That's fancy. It's an auto stick. Um, this color looks like it is right up my alley. I love taupey colors like this. And it is a taupey bronze with uh, some brown in it. Let me see if it's smudgeable. Yes, it is. You can definitely smudge this out. It blends out super easily, it seems. And so you can create a lot of nice smoky eye looks with it. Oh, this is so beautiful. I can never have enough taupey bronze eyeshadows because oh, they just look so pretty on the eyes. Look guys, the next product is called the Oriental Eyes Eyeliner Pen. That's a strange name. When you open this up, it looks like Maybelline's Line Stiletto Liquid Eyeliner. It's the one that I've been loving. It comes in this super tiny felt tip. And let me see if, ooh! Okay, I thought I poured the product out, but no. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. It looks jet black. 
on the back of my hand. And I like that it dries matte because I do like rather matte looking liners. Okay, we are down to the last product in the box. Are you guys ready for this? And this is Vanilla Co's BB Cream. It's called their Natural Face Naked BB Cream with SPF 31 and this is in the shade Real Natural. It is real natural. So the packaging looks like this. It has a pump. That's always good. Yeah, that's one thing I find about um, Korean products is that they always come with a pump, which I like because you can keep like all your products um, sanitary. You don't have to keep dipping your fingers into it. You know, I don't like those jarred makeup. Um, like my Revlon Colorstay Whipped Cream Foundation. I love the product, but I hate the packaging. I'm kind of a germaphobe and I don't like to dip my finger into makeup. That's, that's gross. Anyways, I'm just rambling now. Um, this is great packaging and I'm just gonna try out the shade to see if it matches my skin tone. I am MC20 in MAC shades for your reference. And in the summer, I tend to get a little darker, so like NC25-ish. And this looks like it matches my skin tone perfectly. I like that this BB cream actually has a yellow undertone to it, which is very wearable because some of you may know who are familiar with BB cream has a gray undertone cast to it. So when you put it on, it gives you that gray cast on your face that makes you look ghostly white and a little sick. They call it the Naked BB Cream and I can understand why because after I blended it in, it looks like I'm not even wearing makeup. Like, you don't see it at all. It just blends right in but at the same time, it covers whatever imperfections and it's very moisturizing. I don't see any dry patches. Mmm, this BB Cream smells like Korea. It smells soapy. Korea smells like two things to me, kimchi and soap. Because whenever you walk past restaurants, you smell kimchi and then every other store you walk past is a cosmetic store and all of them smell like soap. So yeah, this is what Korea smells like. Oh man. It brings me back to um, the days when I used to live there. <laughs> I miss it a lot. You know, whenever I see this brand, Vanilla Co, I think of vanilla and there's a weird story because I think the Korean language doesn't have the V sound. So when I used to teach in Korea, a lot of my students would call me Bibian, which means Bibian teacher instead of Vivian. And whenever I see this name, it just reminds me of my students and I really miss them. It's, it was a really great experience. And yeah, a lot of you may not know that I taught in Korea for a year, but I did. And that's why I love Korean products so much. Whenever I miss Korea, I order Mimi boxes. And that is it for my Vanilla Co. Mimi Box unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, if you haven't followed me on Twitter and Instagram yet, you can follow me on there. I'm always ready to chat with you guys. So stop by and say hi. Um, yeah, that is it. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.